In this lesson, we discuss Facebook applications. Specifically, we'll talk about built-in Facebook apps, Facebook App Center, and using a service to create custom apps. First of all, a Facebook application or app is an add-on to your Facebook page. Apps can add functionality to a page, like offering contests, online forms, or e-commerce solutions. Some apps feature images, video, and other types of media from other social media sites. And apps can also connect your account to other platforms like YouTube, Twitter, and so forth. Right down here is where you're going to see your Facebook apps that are installed. Now photos and likes are automatically put in this area. We're going to come back to this custom tab area in just a second. That was something that I put in earlier and I'm going to show you how I did it. But if you click on this little arrow here, you're going to see some other options here, places that you can add additional apps. I'm going to scroll up a little better here. Now if we click on this little plus button right here, we have some other apps that we can add, some built-in Facebook apps. One of them is events, in case you have a lot of different events. Another one is videos. Now since we uploaded a video, let's go ahead and click on this, then all of the videos that we uploaded are going to show up here. So that's one of the pros to uploading your videos to Facebook as opposed to embedding URLs from YouTube is that they're actually going to show up in this area on your page. Now when we pull down this little arrow right here, this is going to take us to a number of different places that we have installed on our site. First of all, it'll take us back to the timeline, to our About page, to the Photos app, to our Likes, to that Custom tab again, I'll talk about that in a minute, or to the videos where we are right now. Let's go back to the timeline, and you notice that if we click on Photos here, then we've uploaded some profile images and a background header, and then also the image that we just uploaded earlier. But only uploaded images are going to show up in this app, not the ones that we embedded from Flickr. So let's go back to our timeline. Let's click on this little arrow again. The other thing that we can do from here is we can install other apps if we want, or we can click on Find More Apps. And this takes us to the Apps for Pages area. So if we click down here on Apps, we can get different types of apps, but the problem is that not all of these apps are for pages. And one way you can find out if an app is for a Facebook page versus just a profile is to go to the app. Let's click right here, and you can go to their website, or you can go to the app page itself. Now, if this app were available for a page, we would be able to pull this down and see a place where we could put it on our page. I don't see that for this Pinterest app. Perhaps if we go over here and click on Books, on Goodreads, again, we want to visit the App page, and you pull this down, you're going to see this Add App to Page button. You can click on that and add the app to your page. One of the problems with the apps within Facebook anymore is that fewer and fewer of them are available for installation on Facebook pages. This has led to a trend of using outside services to install apps on pages. Now, there are some really good services. Now, one of the things that I recommend is that you research those. So let me show you what I mean by that. So you can go to a top 10 review site like this and get a feel for each of the individual services. You're going to be looking for Facebook fan page creation tools or Facebook tab creation tools and these tools are going to help you create your own apps that will show up on those little tabs and they'll also be customized. So this is a great way to customize your timeline and your Facebook page with apps that are relevant to what your goals are and what you're offering on the page. Don't only take the advice of one site when you're researching which tool is going to be the best for you. I found a couple blog posts that convinced me that Shortstack was the best option for me. You may find that another tool is a better option for you. So here is Shortstack and they have some options for small businesses and larger businesses, which is one of the things that I liked about it, but also that they have a lot of the features that I'm looking for, especially as far as integrating my other social media tools within my page. And then they also have a free version up to 2,000 likes. So this is a great way to use a service that you can grow with, that you don't have to start paying for until your page is really successful. So I did go ahead and get an account with Shortstack so I could demonstrate the process for you. And what you can do is you can create a tab from some existing templates or just start from scratch. I went ahead and clicked on the template area and I could browse the templates by tag. And I clicked on the video tag because I specifically wanted to find an app that would let me import some of my YouTube videos onto my page. 
So I did a search for video and I clicked on a few of these to figure out which one I liked the best. And I finally chose one of the basic templates, the Video Channel 2.0. Gives me some instructions on how to use the template. The first of which was to create a header image. So I uploaded a header image and then I edited the widget that allowed me to put in my own title and description. And by widget, I noticed that when I went in to create this template, all of these little widgets showed over here on the left and I could fill them out. First I could upload my header image, then I could enter the main message, and now I'm going to enter my video information by clicking this widget. So when this one opens up, I can enter my YouTube channel name, and it's going to get my videos, and then I chose playlists because what I was specifically looking for was an app that would let me pull in all of the videos from a specific playlist. Now if you took my YouTube course, you understand what a playlist is, and the advantage to creating playlists is that you can create galleries like this very easily using these types of tools. So I selected playlists and I chose the playlist from a list, and it found my videos and put them in this great player. And then I also have an option down here at the bottom to put in some footer links. And I filled those out by putting some my own URLs and my own titles in there. And I clicked on Save. So once I'm happy with my widget, I can go up here and click on Install tab. And then I need to connect ShortStack with my Facebook account. But the catch is that I have to connect ShortStack with my Facebook personal account. So I'm not going to be able to do this if I have only a business account with Facebook. You're only going to be able to do this if you create your page in a association with your profile. So I'll need to connect my profile, not my page, but my profile with ShortStack. And once I've done that, then I have two options for publishing. I can publish it using the Quick Publish, or I can use a Custom Publish. I'm going to go ahead and do the Quick Publish. And now what happens is it's going to show me a list of the pages that are associated with my Facebook account. If I had more than one page, and I could choose which page I wanted to put this tab on. So I'm going to click on Install on the Deltina U page. I can change the tab name here if I want. For instance, I could change it to Free Tutorials, but I'm going to hold off on that right now because I want to show you how to do that within Facebook. But the other thing I can do from here is go to actually edit the page. I can go to Facebook to edit the settings for this particular tab. When I do that, I'm brought to my Facebook settings for Deltina U. And remember that within settings, when you click on more, you can go to apps. And this is going to show us the settings for our apps within Facebook. So notice that custom tab one, which is the short stack widget that we just installed, is one of the options now. And I'm going to show you another way to change the settings a little bit later also. So let's go up here and click on view page. So now I'm going to come back to our live page. And I'm going to come down here to this tab, and I'm going to click on it. And it's going to bring us over to the widget as we installed it from ShortStack. And if I scroll down here, I can see a video, and I can see the other videos in that playlist. And I can also see the links that I embedded on the widget. And let's go back to that app area and click on this arrow again. And one of the things that that's going to do is make this little edit button appear. And when we click on that, we can edit the settings of this particular tab. We can change the name, and we can also change the custom tab image. Now when I click here, then it's going to give me an option to choose a file. And I created one earlier with the 111 by 74 pixel dimensions that I found out from that infographic that we shared. Click on Open, and now it's going to show our tab here. And I'm going to click on Save. So now we have the app with free tutorials with our own custom tab in there. And all I did was take part of my profile image and added a little transparent play button on there so people know that those are videos. Now I can rearrange these tabs, but I cannot move the Photos tab. So what I want is to put my tutorials in front of the likes. So when I click here, it's going to give me an option to swap positions with one or more of these tabs. I want to swap positions with Like. So now my free tutorials are where I want them, and I can close this back up again. Now there's one more app that I want to demonstrate for you, or at least give you an overview of. When I click the button here, you notice that I have this other app called Notes. If I click on Notes, I'm going to be brought to my Notes area. If I click on Write a Note, what this allows me to do is to write sort of like a blog post, where I can put in a title, and I can put in information including photos, and I can also give the note tags, similar to a blog post. So now when we go back to our main page, you're going to notice this little one here. When we click on that, we'll see that we have another app under here. That tells our fans that we have more apps. To summarize this lesson, a Facebook application or app is an add-on to a Facebook page. 
offering added functionality like contests, image, video galleries, or integration. Facebook apps reside in the App or Tab area under the page header. Facebook has some built-in apps, including photos, videos, events, and notes. Facebook notes are similar to blogs, containing titles, text, photos, and tags. Other apps can be found in the Facebook App Center, but most of them cannot be used for pages. Facebook App or Tab services offer affordable solutions for creating your own custom apps, but research services to find the best one for you.